Hello, it is Thursday, January 27th, a chilly day here in Seoul, as you'd expect at this time of year. I'm Alex Jensen, and these are your daily headlines. North Korea has conducted its sixth missile test of the year after firing two short-range ballistic missiles this morning, according to South Korea's military. The projectiles, banned under UN Security Council resolutions, were fired from the north's east coast city of Hamhung, with a military official here saying the presumed target was set on an uninhabited island. Intelligence authorities are working with US counterparts to look into exactly what North Korea fired including considering the possibility of the test involving multiple rocket launches. While there's still no sign of the North conducting an intercontinental ballistic missile or nuclear test, Seoul and Washington have maintained patience in urging Pyongyang to resume dialogue. Meanwhile, North Korea seems to have been hit by a cyber attack, as major official websites such as those operated by its foreign ministry and state media have been experiencing connection issues. Reuters reports that the North appears to have suffered a distributed denial-of-service attack. We understand the South Korean government's keeping tabs on the situation in the North, which is known for operating its own sophisticated hacking groups. And South Korea's COVID-19 cases reached a fresh record earlier, passing 14,500 daily infections. The figure had jumped from the 8,000 range to over 13,000 yesterday with the Omicron variant spreading even faster than expected here. The country's begun a new pandemic response system with the goal of expanding home treatment for milder cases to save in-person hospital resources for those who need them most. From this weekend, rapid antigen tests will be available at 256 screening clinics across the country as the local standard of PCR testing will be offered to priority groups. Well, that closes your daily headlines, but you can check out more information via that website shown below. There you will find all the latest breaking news surrounding the Korean Peninsula. And subscribe to Korea Now if you want to get all our content delivered right to you as soon as it's ready.